We are going to be making kimchi fried rice today, so I use kimchi, carrots, and onion. Okay, so you can also use scallion if you want, but I just ran out of scallion, so I didn't use it. I didn't have pork strips or like bacon strips, so I just used chicken curry, but it really doesn't matter what meat you use. So basically, you take your onion, and you know, you just call, cut a small piece of it, and you know, yep, you just you know, do exactly what I'm doing here, cut it. And then you take that small piece and you cut it into even smaller pieces, so like little tiny dices. And then here I'm like getting like the wrapping to put it, the oil back into the fridge so that it doesn't rot. And look at me, slime. Um, so here I go taking the knife, yes, cutting it into smaller, 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 smaller pieces so that it is edible. Also, like, make sure to not put your hands in your eyes because it will make you very, very crying. Like, it'll make your eyes watery and burn. But yeah, here I am cutting, dicing, you know, doing God's work by cutting this. Oh, my computer was dying, so. And I decided to switch the, I decided to switch the lights because it was kind of bright and, like, you couldn't really see the table and the onions, so I decided to switch the lights. basically grabbing gochujang out of the fridge and i checked the expiration date to make sure that it wasn't expired next i'm taking out the kimchi and making sure that the soup and the soup like the the soup like the sauce of it stays and then making like trying to cut the kimchi into smaller pieces so that it's not big and bulky when i fry it later and i'm cutting it it kind of was a struggle for me to cut it but cutting it as you can tell now that i'm done cutting it i'm gonna put it inside the container you have all your prep done you want to take a pan and just put oil on it and let it heat up before you put your ingredients in now that your pan is warm enough you can put your carrots in and do a little mixing and then shortly after that mixing you can put in your onions and mix it as well Try not to like get it sticky because I made it sticky like it was like sticking to the pan Then I put it in my chicken that I have so if you're using pork You can put in your pork down and make sure that it looks cooked before you put the kimchi in So my chicken was already cooked so I didn't have to worry about that Next I put in the kimchi and then rice that I had leftover rice so I started perking the rice down while it was inside the pan and just mixing it around so here is basically where I put like gokchuchang soy sauce sesame oil like any flavors that you personally enjoy you can just put it in but I use sesame oil and soy sauce and gokchuchang 
and you don't need go to town but if you want you can have it yeah that's basically like the end of it you just put some seaweed if you have seaweed if you don't you can just eat it dry but mine came out really spicy so i had to drink some milk thank you so much bye bye